Hey, Pizza Potamus here. Just wanted to do a quick video on set collecting. Um, recently acquired a set of The Dark, um, and also I'm building a fourth edition set, which I know is not terribly <laughs> exciting in the in the world of Magic the Gathering collecting, but um, you know, it's a nostalgic set. Um, it's got some great artwork, really rich colors for some of the uh, famous cards that, you know, were certainly washed out and, and revised and maybe um, either weren't included in uh, a limited or, or uh, um, beta due to the fact that they came from some of the expansion sets but um, but yeah so I, I wanted to show off the the set of the dark um, and then also um, I'm going to be collecting a set of Arabian Nights and I wanted to kind of show you what I have so far and um, yeah we'll kind of chronicle the adventure of, of doing an Arabian Nights um, set collection. So here's here's our binder. This is actually eventually going to contain uh, the dark Arabian Nights and um, antiquities because there's just enough room to kind of fit all three. So um, here's our set of the dark. It's, uh, it's in fairly uh, mint condition. There's a few kind of um, somewhat played cards, but overall really, really good, uh, really good condition. Um, bought this ringless binder so that, uh, you know, I don't get any dings in the cards. Um, definitely worth the investment. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon, but really like this thing a lot. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to flip through quickly. I mean, for folks who um, are into these vintage cards, you kind of know what this stuff is. Um, some call-out, you know, cool cards are uh, probably on the first page. You got Ball, Lightning, and, and Blood Moon. I did put these in alphabetical order rather than doing the uh, color separation that some people do. Um... And then from there, you've got uh, Goblin Wizard down here. And then finally, the, the other... Well, actually, there's two more. Uh, Maze of Ith, one of the most undervalued cards in the set, for sure. So surprised that it's not worth more money. And uh, Preacher, because it's never... I, maybe it has been reprinted. Maybe that, that's why. It's just there's more copies out there. So yeah, so here's my set of the Dark. And then on the last page here, you'll see... Um, if you'd seen the video of me opening the four starter decks, these are some of the key cards that I pulled outside of the Volcanic Island that were pretty pretty special to me. I wanted to keep them separated just because, um, you know, I, I have other copies of these cards, but I wanted these to be uh, in their own spot so that I knew which ones were actually pulled out of the, the four starter decks. So, um, yeah, so this is where Arabian Nights is going to go. And so far I have an Erg Raiders, uh, a Fish Liver Oil, um, a ghoul and an ogress and then a metamorphosis so um, uh, not a great start however I do have some help um, one of the inspirations for starting this set collecting adventure um, is this little stack of cards so um, I've already done some collecting of Arabian Nights just over the years and um, I have some of the uh, the big cards already basically so here's a diamond valley um i would call this you know mint the gem mint condition i mean it does have one little nick there aside from that i mean there's really no whitening the surface is perfect edges are great um it's in really really good shape but um bought it raw so uh and i have no intention of grading it i'm going to do a whole separate video on on grading altogether uh and then i'll explain why i didn't necessarily grade it um, because it probably would grade out as a as an eight point five or a nine. Uh, drop of honey, same kind of deal here. Uh, really clean card, no major whitening on the black edges. Um, really good surface. Really happy with the condition of that card. Guardian beast, um, probably more of a light play. It's got a little bit more wear on the edges if you look closely. I'm not sure if it really comes through on camera with my horrible lighting, horrible glare, and uh, the fact that I've got these in top loading cases. But Singing Tree, um, not as cool as the last couple of cards, but uh, this was a, 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 a favorite of mine growing up. Um, so I had to snag a copy of this. Uh, definitely in the worst condition of probably all the Arabian Nights um, uh, Uncommon 2s that I have, or Uncommon 3s, whatever it is. Um, Sorceress Queen. She's definitely in more of a, a played to, you know, probably like a moderate play to played uh, condition. But um, so I may actually try to replace her if I'm going for a full near mint set, but she'll make a nice, um, you know, addition to start. And then from here, we've got an alley from Cairo. 
Um, absolutely love this card. It was it was a card that I saw it after uh, growing up. I remember seeing it in price guides and being like, man, why is that card so expensive? And um, finally saw one and, uh, you know, it, it's just so cool sometimes when you see a name in a price guide, you see that, it, you know, in the, in the 90s anyway, that's all we had, right? You couldn't look up what the card was. Um, you didn't know what the artwork looked like. You just saw a name. Uh, and um, this was one that because it was an A, it would always kind of stick out at Arabian Nights as being like, um, a card to go after, so I um, was really stoked when I finally uh, snagged one of these. Um, I mean, obviously it's graded, so um, probably won't be removing it out of the graded case for the set, but we'll, we'll see. I, I haven't figured out how I'm going to tackle that exactly. A Library of Alexandria, um, also in a BGS9. Um, so yeah, definitely not removing this from the case if I don't have to. And then finally we've got um, Jews of Jin in a BGS9. So you can see why I um, was inspired to, to start collecting the set. I have a lot of the cards that are um, some of the high value uh, hitters that, that would cost um, a decent amount of money to, um, you know, to collect. So, I mean, obviously I still need a bazaar. I still need a city of brass. I still need city in a bottle. Um, there's, there's a few that are in the kind of few hundred dollar range. Um, but I do feel like a good portion of like the hard work is over with Juzum, Library of Alexandria, Guardian Beast, Diamond Valley, Drop of Honey. I mean, those those cards. Um, if I still had to obtain those, obviously it would be pretty daunting. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chronicle the the collection adventure, and um, as I get cards, I'll I'll do uh, channel updates and and kind of show you as it goes into the binder um, what we got, and uh, I'll probably try to do. Um, you know, a decent amount of cards at a time. There's only 78 cards in the set. Um, I'm probably going to be buying one at a time in some cases just because uh, it's hard to get these cards in really good condition with, due to their age and due to the fact that um, folks who have these a lot of the, a lot of time are just holding on to them. So um, I'll probably wait until I get a few cards that are kind of worth doing a, a video on. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll slot them into the binder and, and see how long it takes to actually collect the whole set. So yeah, um, hope you guys look forward to that and uh, see you soon.